If you've had your grandchildren plucked out of your lives, you know the pain, the heartbreaking experience that it is. We're gonna talk about this and you're gonna learn five key strategies to cope. Hi, I'm Marie Morin. I'm a therapist and a wellness coach. Let's get started. Of course, when you lost your grandchildren to this estrangement, you are in pain. It's not just the hugs that you're missing, it's the emotional connection. Grandparents often feel lost, angry, and very sad. And I understand you all want to see your grandchildren. Of course you do. These strategies are to support you to get through this, but we are going to talk about what to do for the hope of reconciling. The first thing you want to do is be around people who love and value you. I know it's terrible. You feel awful. But if you have a support system of friends, be around them. Do your best to be with people who love you. Don't isolate. This is going to make it harder for you. For those of you who don't have local friends, do your best to connect with others in other ways. For example, clubs, churches, organizations, volunteer situations. The idea is, is to get yourself out there. Nurture your mental health. You want to take care of yourself because this is a really tough time. And we know that being around people is what's going to help you to feel better and get your life moving forward. Okay? So it's often happens that grandparents are very engaged with their grandchildren and they tell me you know it just feels like i'm so scared i don't know are they going to feel like i've abandoned them well this is really tough so we want to keep you focused on moving forward because we don't know what your grandchildren think. What we do know and what our hope is, is that our grandchildren will know how much we love them and how important they are to us. And that hopefully we hope for this reconciliation. Okay. Estrangement, as we know, it can result from a big argument, a fundamental disagreement. Maybe it's about parenting styles. Maybe you said something that you shouldn't have said and someone got really upset with you. Watch my video, 11 Reasons Why Adult Children Cut Off to learn more about all the contributors to estrangement. Okay, and sometimes the reasons for cut off aren't clear and we're not told and it's just this abrupt thing and it's very sudden and feels very unfair. The second thing you want to do is create a daily routine and focus on your self-care. I know you're probably saying, I don't really want to do this, but I'm telling you, this will help. You want to eat well, exercise, even if you just take a walk, okay? You want to engage in something that says every day, you know what, I'm going to care for myself. It is absolutely crucial to get to this place. I don't know where you are in your estrangement journey, how long you've been uh, separated from your adult child and your grandchildren. However, this step of self-care is essential. When people aren't doing well, when they're not feeling good, when they're really emotionally upset, daily routines are key to improving our mood and our outlook. So do one thing every day. It could just be that walk outside. It could be journal writing, okay? And the third thing you want to do is to find a support network. It could be a support group that focuses on this and also focuses on moving you forward. It could be a therapist or a specialized coach. But the idea is, is that you have a place to ventilate. You have a place where people are speaking life into the situation, meaning helping you to move forward. This is really important. Engaging in a lot of the same thing where everyone is talking about how brutal they feel and how horribly unfair this is, won't help you long term. It will help you if you have the type of support that moves you forward, okay? And that's often what you get when you see a therapist or a specialized coach because they are targeting the idea of 
giving you strategies that won't keep you in this really um, stuck place of emotional turmoil. And the fourth thing you want to do is to reflect and inform yourself about boundaries and what adult children feel and think. So this is a twofold step here. So the reflection is, okay, where am I responsible for what happened? Did I say something? Did I step on somebody's toes? Okay. There are cases where people have been cut off um, just for things that were really outlandish. Um, and sometimes they were legitimate things. I don't know what your situation is, but in any event, you want to do this step of reflecting. What was my part? Did I have a part in it? Did I maybe say things that were intrusive? Did I show up when I wasn't invited? Whatever it was, okay? And you also want to inform yourself about boundaries. Like, what are adult children saying? What they're saying is, respect me. I want you to know that there are limits to what our relationship is. So you want to know about these so that it'll help you to understand the scope of the estrangement field. So this piece of reflect and inform yourself is in preparation too for the hope of reconciliation because you can't apologize for what has happened if you're not reflecting and getting, oh, okay, I understand. I did X, Y, Z, and it's time for me to make an apology. All right, so this step is extremely important. So things like understanding and respecting what they've said to you, what you've learned. You want to learn new ways to communicate. Take responsibility for any harm. Committing to change. This is all part of the hope of reconciliation. So consider this step as an opportunity for change in your life in terms of what will improve the situation and also improve for your grandchildren. And talking to a counselor can really help. And the fifth thing is, is to respect their boundaries. This is a really critical piece of the entire estrangement thing, especially when it comes to grandchildren. So. If your adult child has said to you, look, we need a break, we need some time, it's super important for you to respect that boundary. Uh, make sure you subscribe because within a couple of weeks, I'm going to be doing a video on no contact and how to approach that. But the idea here is that if they have created a boundary, you want to respect it. If you push, if you keep going towards them and they have asked you for space and time, um, you will make matters worse by trying to reconcile or get back together or communicate with them too soon. So one thing you really want to be informed about are the stages of grief. You want to know what you're going through. You might be feeling some shock. You might be numb. You might be stunned. This is unreal. This experience is just unbelievable. If you're feeling symptoms like lack of sleep and nausea, uh, just trouble functioning, that could be all part of shock. You also might be feeling some denial like this isn't happening, it's just a misunderstanding, and that's where you can get in trouble with doing some things and making moves that aren't going to be helpful. And if you're angry, and this would be normal, all of these are normal, um, let yourself feel, but don't react towards them. You can have more profound feelings such as sadness and depression. You want to deal with these by processing your feelings. Or you could be experiencing bargaining where you're making all these compromises and trying to figure out ways that you can get some kind of control. If you're experiencing depression and it's been going on for a while, um, you might feel like you want to withdraw from others. And that's why I said you want to stay in touch with people. Uh, maybe you've lost interest in things that you once enjoyed. And it's really important that you get help so you get back to that area. The goal is for us to get a level of acceptance where we accept the estrangement in terms of the loss of the relationship status just for today, okay? So that's where we want to get, but it's really hard to do this. So being 
uh, cut off from our grandchildren and our adult children is one of the toughest things that can ever happen to anyone. And I am so sorry you're going through this. Let's remember we want to respect their boundaries. We want to get help when needed and to really take care of yourself. There's a lot of nuances in estrangement of adult children and our grandchildren and communicating with them and learning how not to cross their boundaries is so important. Subscribe to be informed of upcoming videos on how to cope um, when there's no contact. Of course, you want to reconcile with your adult child and see your grandchildren again. In my opinion, there's always hope. Adult children soften as they get older. Um, and we want to be patient and persistent in our self-care. So I believe there's hope. Um, I'll just tell you that in my experience personally, I have was estranged from one of my adult kids and my grandson. I missed a whole um, growth spurt. I am now back in contact. It's not the way I would love it to be. We don't see each other that often. They won't come to my home. However, I do get to see them sporadically. So I believe in time things can change. So don't forget to subscribe so you can get that no contact video. See you in the next video.